Everybody sees down here 30 or 40,000 uh, for a championship game against Waterford at Tipperary. What they don't see is above in Parker Ring two months ago when it's lashing rain and freezing cold and you're frozen. Uh, so when the grass has been cut and you can get the, the smell of the cut grass, you know the championship's around the corner and uh, they're special times. Uh, they don't last for too long, so it's kind of what you dream of and what you want to be involved in. And it's different for everybody, whether you're the masseuse in the team, whether you're the manager, whether you're the coach, you're testing yourself against the best in the other countries. Tactically, from our point of view, I suppose, as management, seeing can we match their tactics, can we outwit them, uh, can we build the characters that we need for the battles that are ahead of us. Uh, so it's a great environment to be in to test yourself and see where you're at and um, constantly trying to improve and evolve. Still taking a little bit of getting used to starting it in April, you know, as opposed to May and that when there's a little bit more heat. And even the first round last year was against Tipperary. It was a chilly enough kind of spring day rather than the, the summer days that you're getting, that you would have been used to be before. But we're adjusting slowly to it now. There's no real answer whether you're better off playing the week before or whether you're going cold like we are. Uh, we're happy that we're in control of our own destiny. And our focus really is getting the best out of ourselves on the 30 down here. And if we feel we get the best out of ourselves, we'll match Waterford that day. But we're under no illusions of the task that's going to be facing us on the 30th of April down here. We had a good camp in Portugal, got a bit of nice sunshine and weather and stuff. So we got through a lot of work there. Um, we've kind of ratcheted up the the, the games then, uh, uh, a train and stuff, 15 aside. And they've gone quite well. And thankfully, we haven't picked up any more injuries, which was a key part for us after so many in the league. The new thing that I'm saying is the emphasis on recuperation, the rest and recuperation. You know, there's one thing about what you do in the field, in the gym and things like that, but it's that recovery uh, piece that's really, really important now. So we're factoring that into our planning now for, say, if we're playing the Sunday and the Saturday, the rest and recuperation is as important as what we actually do with them that week as well from a hurling point of view. I know Pat Ryan, I used to play with SARS, I was involved in SARS last year, so I know exactly what Pat uh, brings to the table, you know, he's huge experience. They've shown even in their games in the league so far, like, you know, that they're, they're really in a good place. And we know that that's going to be a, a big challenge, you know. And actually the year that I joined SARS, I was I was, I was playing with, with Pat. And actually we, we met Cork in the league final that year. So I was actually Mark and Pat in the, in the league final in Semple Stadium as well. So it's, 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 it's funny how the, 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 the wheel turns and things turn around. And here we are now on, on sidelines opposite each other in Munster Championship again. Davey kind of has brought success wherever he's gone. Like, depends on your definition of success. Well, he hasn't won cups and things like that. Every team that he's gone to, um, he's made them better. Uh, so it's massively impressive. Uh, I give massive credits in relation to his tactical awareness and how he's evolved his game in the different countries he's gone to. So he'll come to Cork with a plan. He knows Cork inside out. He's been with Wexford. He's been with Clare. He's been with Watford. He's played Cork enough times, so he will have a plan for us. Um, and we're expecting that uh, he'll have water from a good place. Uh, he's not going from county to county without the reputation he has. He's a really good coach. He's a really good manager. Uh, and he's coming to Cork fully expecting to win. Our job is to make sure that doesn't happen. I worked with Davey back in 2008-2009 when he uh, came on board at Waterford. Um, he's learned a lot in the last few years, you know, I was delighted to get a phone call from him, you know, because the one thing I remember about uh, the first time I worked with him, I learned a lot from him, you know, and he's gained a lot of experience, had a lot of success in, in the last 15 years. So when he asked me to get on board this year, I said not alone for being involved with Waterford, but I knew I'd learn a lot from Davey and you know, that, that has been the case, you know, he's, he's after bringing his coach and his experience to, to another level completely that I was amazed with and the time that he puts into it. So, you know, he's, I, I, I'm enjoying it. I, I've le I'm learning a lot and hopefully that will transfer onto the team now. I don't think anyone would, would uh, on, hand on their heart say, you know, they're confident of winning all four games in Munster. It's just getting that four or five points that you need to get out and that's 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 what we're that's our aim from now on here.